you get gradually more and more um, settlement on the East Coast. So you get the Pilgrim's Land at Plymouth. And then notice here, right? So between the maps, we've already looked at how she erases Jamestown from this history, right? More or less. She talks about them, but only in, in the sense in which they're not a founding, right? Well, that also means that they're not going to appear on any map. Because 1578, they're not there yet. So they can't be on that map. 1620, they're already there. But what does she say? And this is, this is a uh, ship actually arrived in 1619, so close enough. Uh, she paints on the map a Dutch ship with Negroes from Africa purchased by the colony of Jamestown. So insofar as Jamestown appears on any map in her history, it appears as, as uh, associated with slavery, right? which is why it's not a t she doesn't want it to be a turning point in American history. Because if it's the turning point in American history, you can't not talk about slavery, <laughs> right? But if you say that the pilgrims came here for freedom, then you could first of all ignore the fact that pilgrims and Puritans in New England had slaves, which they did. Uh, and second of all, uh, you can say that that whole slavery business is not part of the essential identity of America, right? That happened down south. The real origin is up here with this morally elevated crew of people who came, right? Uh, so these histories are, are creating a kind of national story that's doing important kind of cultural work in creating that sense of a national identity.